Okay all you stair builders, here we go again. Today I'm going to help you lay out, as you can see behind me here, lay out your stair project. It kind of gets your, first you know you need to know the, the height and then of course you need to know how much room you've got in the room. And you know if you've got a wall that's going to be in the way or whatnot. But here we go. I'm going to kind of go a little backwards on this thing. So what I'm going to show you right now is what I've got laid out. Now none of this is to true to fact. So this is just kind of a going in reverse. <clears throat> the first thing I want to point out is when you do have a wall and you do have your measurement and you do have your stairs, once you get the height and the width of each stair, as I'll show you here in a minute, you want to find out if this if there's going to be a wall in the way, because uh, you need a certain amount of room. Plus, you need at least four feet from where the last step to the wall is going to be. So wherever this this step is. You want to have a, at least four foot clearance. And that's so you can get like mattresses, beds, sofas, chairs, whatnot up the stairs. If you don't have that, it's going to be too tight. I mean, three, three foot is okay, but that's just for walking upstairs. That doesn't mean your stairs need to be 48 inches wide. Normally they're 43, but check with your local building codes if you're gonna, unless you're gonna bootleg it, then it really don't matter. Anyway, as you can see, we've got our steps, but we've got this wall in the way. So, as far as your height of what we call the riser of each of your steps. If you get down here, it doesn't matter what distance you are from the floor to your last step, you get to where you're 40, at least 48 inches to a step to where you can turn. So in other words, if you have one, two, three, four steps, then your fifth one is going to be a landing. Your landing is still going to be the same height regardless of what the width is, the width and the depth. So in other words, as your stairs are coming down, now you're going to turn because you have this wall in the way. Then your stairs are going to continue coming down, which means this landing right here is probably going to be, well, let me do it this way. Okay, what I'm going to do is do it this way. Here's the wall. You're coming down these stairs, but now you're going to turn and come down these last three steps. Well, with this wall here, this landing, see this stair, down with this landing there we go as we're coming down these stairs okay this landing forty three that way forty eight front to side but it doesn't matter because well I had to catch up with myself so it doesn't matter we know these risers are seven and three-eighths of an inch high
but even on your landing as you're coming down and turning and coming this way this landing is still going to remain seven and three eighths inch high along with the others coming down to the bottom floor so no matter what you do you even when turning even if you're going to make a u an l shape which this is or a u to where you have coming down this landing even comes over farther and returns and goes back you're still going to have seven and three eighths of an inch risers doesn't matter how each how much each landing how big each landing is keep the same riser on each step okay now what we'll do is we're going to get how we get the measurements to figure our height and our width